Ladies and gentlemen, your kindly request to remain seated. We apologize for the situation. Thank you. Bomb horror on passenger jet, burning man is sucked out of plane at 14,000 feet after explosion rips open the fuselage. Dilo Airlines flight D3159 was en route to Djibouti from Somalia. But five minutes after takeoff an explosion blasted a hole in the fuselage. Eyewitnesses claim a badly burned body fell from the Airbus A321 aircraft. Somalia is facing a terrorist uprising by Islamic group Al-Shabaab. An unidentified man was sucked out of a passenger jet at 14,000 feet after a suspected bomb blasted a hole through the side of the fuselage just five minutes after the Airbus A321 took off from Mogadishu. Eyewitnesses claim the badly burned body of an elderly man fell to the earth about 15 miles away from the airport at the time of the blast. Airline officials claim two people were injured by the blast which punched a hole in the aluminum fuselage about 6 foot by 3 foot in size. The aircraft's pilot Vladimir Vodopovec, 64, from Serbia said, I think it was a bomb. Luckily, the flight controls were not damaged so I could return and land at the airport. Something like this has never happened in my flight career. We lost pressure in the cabin. Thank God it ended well. A source told CNN that initial tests have shown explosive residue indicating the aircraft may have been the victim of a suspected terrorist attack. The explosion happened as the aircraft passed between 12,000 and 14,000, before it reached its cruising altitude. Somali aviation official Ali Mohamed said the aircraft, operated by Dilo Airlines was headed to Djibouti in the Horn of Africa was forced to land minutes after taking off from the Mogadishu airport. Awal Kulain, Somalia's alternate ambassador to the UN who was on board the flight, said on Facebook that he heard a loud noise and couldn't see anything but smoke for a few seconds. When visibility returned they realized quite a chunk of the plane was missing, he wrote. Kulain, who was going to Djibouti to attend the Conference for Diplomats, also posted a video showing some passengers putting on oxygen masks inside the plane. Another passenger, Muhammad Ali, told the Associated Press they heard a bang before flames opened a gaping hole in the plane's side. I don't know if it was a bomb or an electric shock, but we heard a bang inside the plane, he said, adding he could not confirm reports that passengers had fallen from the plane. One of the people on board the flight filmed the aftermath of the explosion where the remaining passengers had calmly until the aircraft returned to the airport. Mohammed Hussan, a police officer in nearby Balad town, said residents had found the dead body of an old man who might have fallen from a plane. Balad is an agricultural town about 18 miles north of Mogadishu. Somalia faces an insurgency perpetrated by the Somali Islamic extremist group al Shabaab which is responsible for many deadly attacks across the nation. Aviation sources have suggested the aircraft was delayed leaving Mogadishu this afternoon meaning the suspected bomb, if it was on a timer, went off at a lower altitude, giving the passengers on board a greater chance of survival. John Goglia, former member of the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board member said only a bomb or a pressurization blowout caused by fatigue could cause such a hole in the side of the aircraft. However, the black soot around the hole would indicate a bomb. He said the incident happened before the aircraft hit its cruising altitude which would reduce the possibility of a pressurization event.
He added, we don't know a lot, but certainly it looks like a device. Somali authorities confirming an explosion that blew a hole in the side of, of a commercial plane shortly after takeoff killed at least one passenger. The, bodies, the victim's body found on the ground near Mogadishu. The pilot was amazingly able to safely land this aircraft. So far this morning, no confirmation of the cause of that blast or whether terrorism may be involved. I want to get the very latest from CNN's Robin Creel, live from Nairobi. And Robin, when you look at the pictures of a, of a hole blown in the side of, of this aircraft, it's almost amazing there was only one fatality. Uh, was it because it hadn't uh, gotten to cruising altitude? The cabin hadn't been entirely pressurized? Why was, why was this plane able to, to land safely? Well, hugely lucky. And it turns out, Christine, that that plane was about an hour delayed. So if it had taken off at 10.30 a.m. local time, uh, which it was due to take off at, and instead it took off at 12.30 a.m., if it had taken off at that time, and if there was something timed to go off on that plane, then that flight would have likely have been one hour into cruising, altitude 30,000 feet. And what we're told by experts is that if it had been on that, at that altitude and the explosion had occurred in that exact place right near the fuel tanks on the wing, then it would have been catastrophic for that flight and the 70-odd people on board. Here's what we know. It was an Airbus 321, Christine. It was heading from Mogadishu to Djibouti. A source tells us, a source close to the investigation tells us that they have tested the, that they have tested that blast site and that residue that they have collected has tested positive for explosives. We're not sure what explosive that was. Two passengers injured and one one passenger sucked out of the plane. His body was found close to Mogadishu. Somali authorities now have control of that body and they will be looking at that body today as the day wears on. What we're not sure about, Christine, is what could be behind this explosion. As I said, it was one hour late to take off. So if it was some kind of timed device, and again, we do not know this, then if, if it had gone off when the plane was already in air and at cruising altitude, it would have been catastrophic. Uh, Al-Shabaab is an Al-Qaeda-linked group that uh, has terror attacks almost daily in Mogadishu. As of yet, no one has come forward to claim responsibility if indeed this was some kind of terror attack. Ladies and gentlemen, your kind request to remain seated. We apologize for the situation. Thank you.